Hi guys, welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today is going to be a really short video because what we're going to do is we're going to be doing ginger and also garlic preps to show you how I store those for recipes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel a bulb of garlic. And to do that, I can't really show you because I'm the only one filming, but you're actually gonna peel the top off of the garlic. And I have a garbage can right next to where I'll be working. And as you can see, you can see the insides of the gar garlic bulb and you're just gonna separate those. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the process. Okay, so I showed you some video on how I have the clove separated from the bulb. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each individual clove and it's still in its wrapper. And I'm going to take a garlic press and I'm going to show you the process. So basically it's just a really simple process. I just take a clove of garlic with the skin still on. I put it in my um, garlic press. I squeeze down just a little bit, not all the way. And then what I do is I remove the garlic clove and I will peel the skin off. It comes off really easy. And then I put it in my jar with vinegar and the other cloves of garlic. Now we're on to the ginger preparation. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the outer skin. I'm going to save the outside of it for my chickens because it's really good for their immune systems. And then I'm going to process this in the food processor with a little bit of water and store it in a jar with white vinegar, just like I did the garlic, but in separate jars. Okay, so there you have it. That is my ginger. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to process that and I'll take some video of it for you. So there it is processed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to a mason ball jar with white vinegar. And there's the finished product. So that's fresh grated or processed ginger in the food processor with the skin removed and white vinegar. And it's sitting in a mason jar. Just put that in my fridge and I'll store it until I need it for future recipes. And that's it for our show today. Told you guys it was going to be a really short show. So thanks for being here. Have a good one.